In this series, we're going to be creating a blog with Laravel. Very, very simple, but it will teach you the fundamentals uh, about building this. And of course, you can then go ahead and use this as your blog. So the first thing that we're going to do is do a little bit of prep work, set everything up, do the database, uh, do the migration. So we have our database table created. If you don't know what any of this means, don't worry, it is very simple. So I'm going to assume that you've already got Laravel installed. If you haven't, head over to the official website and check out how to install it. And you should see something like this. So as long as you've got something like this, we can get started. So the first thing that I want to do then is just update my uh, app settings. So I'm going to go into app, config and app, uh, sorry, into database. And I'm going to change the uh, MySQL database username and password so the database I'm going to call blog the username for my MySQL server locally is root and the password is root uh, I am in fact going to go into app and also set debug to true just in case we come across any problems we can then debug them please make sure this is off for a production environment uh, that's really important so now that we've done this, uh, we'll be able to connect to our database. But the first thing that we want to do is create a database um, to actually hold all this information. So inside of a MySQL terminal or using whatever you do to manage your database, I'm going to create a database just called blog. And there we go. So I'm now going to, inside of the directory that I'm currently in, you can see that's the same as this one. I am going to create a migration. So we use PHP to hit artisan and we say migrate make and then we give the name of the migration in this case it's going to be create posts table so once that's done we'll find the migration within database migrations and it's here so we can now start to build up our migration so we can think about here what kind of fields that we need uh, but we're, you're going to use the schema builder to create this migration now if you're un unaware what migrations are it's basically version control for your database it means that between different developers or between yourself and different machines, you can just migrate all your database changes over. So you create a new migration for every change. Uh, that's basically what it is. So we're gonna create this posts table. Uh, we have a closure here and we can use T to start building up our table. So we're gonna say T increments. Now increments uh, allows you to specify the name of a field that is of auto increment. So this will go from one, two, three, four, all the way up, uh, depending on how many you actually create. Uh, this will hold you know, up to eight, I think, as an integer. So um, we also want a title for our blog post. So this is going to be a string. I'm going to call this title, and that's going to be at 200 length. Now, I'm also going to create a slug. This is basically something that looks like this that you've probably seen in URLs. It just means it's more SEO friendly and easier to read from the URL. And I'm going to set this to 400. Um, you can change these numbers, though, depending on what you feel. Now, we're also going to introduce a draft status. So we're going to give the ability for each post to be a draft. So it won't publicly ap appear on the home page, uh, but you will still be able to access it if you're writing this, um, this blog post. So we're going to create a Boolean. And this just uh, in MySQL equates to a tiny integer. So draft here and that's it. So we obviously need some body content and this is just going to be a text type. We don't need to specify the character length here. And we also want uh, timestamps. Now this is a method that generates a created at and an updated at field within your table. And this is what Laravel's Eloquent uses when you create a record or update a record. Uh, we're not going to be doing any creating or updating from the app. So you'll have to manually set these when you create records within your database table. But if you were, this is what they're used for. So what we're now going to do is on the reverse side of things, we want to drop this table. That's just in case we want to roll this migration back. So let's now test migrating this and rolling it back. So we use PHP Artisan Migrate. And yes, we want to run this and it looks like it's done successfully. So let's use the blog table in here uh, and let's show, uh, sorry, the database in here. And let's show all tables. Uh, you can see we've got a migrations table that just, uh, you know, is created when we do our migrations. Uh, but let's just describe posts quickly. Uh, and you can see that it looks like it's created everything we need. Cool. So let's test rolling this back just so we know that it works. Roll back. 
and lovely blogs.post doesn't exist so let's re-migrate this and we'll just make sure that exists there we go so we've now got our database table we have connected to our database here and or our server here and chosen our database and we have put debug to true so what we can now do is start to build up our template that we're going to output things to this is very very basic just to allow you to choose your own design if you want to we're just going to be creating the basic markup so when it comes to outputting posts later it's a lot easier